Hello everyone, my name is Gas, and with me is Linking7. Hello, hello! And we are going to, uh, we're a little late to the party, but we're going to look over legendary hero Blazing Knight, Elliewood. Um, I just keep thinking of Blazing Knight the YouTuber every time I see that, unfortunately. Yeah, I think everyone, <laughs> everyone's initial reaction was, oh my god, Blazing Knights and Heroes. <laughs> he's, he's joining the, the Fire Emblem YouTuber roster. <laughs> um... Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to share our thoughts, um, and our thoughts on the banner as well. So, we'll just get started now. Okay, so, Ardent Durando, attack plus three, at the start of turn, grants bonus doubler to any ally with the highest attack, and bonus doubler is of course, takes all your visible buffs and converts them into combat buffs right off the bat, which is it. Rally speed res plus, death blow 4, chill attack 3, and his special is at the start of turn, if a dragon or beast ally is deployed, grants attack and defense plus 6 to any ally within one, uh, with the attack, with the highest attack per, for one turn. So, I, people are like, kind of skeptical, or they're saying that they'll like, they're like, it's an easy pass for this, uh, for this banner in Elliewood. Um, I actually don't. I'm actually not going to pass on this, and I actually do want to get an Elliewood because um, his role is pretty much to support. Like, his, if you have a big beefy tank with high attack, then this guy is going to help him like crazy. Bonus doubler as an effect is great. Um, like, he's going to get bonus doubler on the highest attack guy, and he's going to get attack and defense plus six with him as well. And his rally also helps because it just kind of fills out those other two stats. Uh, I don't know if he'll keep speed res plus, I guess you can, but for the sake of like support, he's super great. Um, chill attack, three is of course nice, uh, clearly he's meant to be a support unit more so than anything else. Um, and I've seen a lot of people say that like he's decent and he's a really, he's like a great support unit, but like they're susceptible to like panics which kind of lowers his stock a little bit especially with like mostly like panic staffs and like manners and averses and stuff um and i'm like yeah but at the same time i feel like people's kind of i, th I find like the effect of panic and like the prevalence of it is not that high and people are sort of making a bigger deal than it has to be what do you think yeah i mean i agree i think panic is a very bad a very valid thing to say as a weakness but we went through this a lot of times when bonus doubler initially came out on legendary roy and legendary roy still held up really really well and so as someone who is literally a mobile uh bonus doubler distribution unit and on your unit with highest attack Usually that's your tank or it's your nuker. So no yeah. matter what, no matter what, you're gonna benefit from this somehow. Sure, panic, you know, in, in the form of the panic manner, aversa and um, panic ploy, it's actually pretty avoidable. The only yeah. thing that would really be super valid here is something like a panic staff, which panics everyone within two spaces of whatever unit is being attacked. That's a home wrecker right there. Uh, in, in this case here. Otherwise, I actually really do like him as a pure support unit. His only real major problem lies in the fact that he's actually not that great stat-wise. He's He's got less base stats than Ares. Really? Yeah, he's, he's at 156 <laughs> BST. Ares is 157. <laughs> Sigurd, Sigurd is still king at 159, so it's kind of like you know, his stats are okay, but uh, he's got the same base attack as Ares. He's got a little bit more speed, the same defense and less resistance, and probably less HP. Yeah, his resistance is dreadfully bad. Um, yeah. But at the same time, I don't, like, we've been playing AR for a long time, and I'm in tier 20, and, like, you, me, and, like, I, it's obviously, like, personal experience doesn't mean a lot, because, like, I'm the one, I'm one person, and I'm trying to get from, like, we started from 18, and we're, we're very close to 21 right now, and you're, you regularly get to, like, tier 27 or 26 or whatever, so, yep. like, if you have a big, stocky tank, and, like, you use Ardent Durandal and Visions of Arcadia well, then you shouldn't be getting 
Aversa, because your tank should have enough, more than enough, like what? Aversa usually caps at like 59 health. She can get to the mid 60s. Um, forts don't boost HP, but uh, even then, like she only panics if you're adjacent to other units. So you shouldn't be getting panicked if you're playing your cards right. Good blessings give you 10 health, 10 HP. Yep. Like so, that's that's great. Your tank usually has a lot of HP anyway. Um, so it's like, and you need to have, and Versa needs to have at least three, or at least two, right? Three are equal. Yep. Yeah. So and she has, to, and you have to be next to someone. So that sudden panic is eh. Like a panic manner is HP dependent too, um, and that is also depending on where it even is, and you can't really control that, right. and the defense team can't really control that either. It's literally I find like the only thing that people that actually is like a good risk against you know this or it, but it's just like any visible buff is the same thing. It's like yeah, exactly. it's like yeah. so this is just the best visible buff thing ever. Like. <laughs> Like, oh, it definitely is. It definitely is. I think bonus doubler is, is super underrated in general. It's hard to get, I guess. Maybe it's not underrated, but yeah. you've got someone who's literally giving you bonus doubler. Like you're you're taking an A slot and you're saying, here, imagine if 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 he if you had an effect that literally gave you DC. Would you go and say, Oh, their dazzle and fire sweep exists? No. <laughs> it's still a really good effect. Yeah. But Yeah. Exactly. And um so I don't, I don't, I get, I get it that pe that people are like weak, but I think it's, I think that the risk is like not, it's, there's, it's, I'd say it's like a 90, 10 type deal where it's like, yeah, you're risking like a little bit with the staff, but it's like, that's only dependent if you even see one in, on offense. Like I, we haven't even seen one yet. A panic staff. Like yeah, it, I see I, them a little bit, but yeah, you're right. It is very infrequent. Yeah. And it's like, so you're going to, so you're really going to try to pass on this when it's like such a great ability and like yeah i just yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna keep repeating myself but yeah and then he visions of arcadia so that's really good if you have a dragon or beast so i would actually try to put elliewood on my astra team because then you just have naga and then you you instantly get it um yeah the only thing i'll say here is he's kind of inconsistent in ar because he's a legendary he's a legendary get that points buff so it has to be wind week for you to be able to use him to get the points otherwise yeah, yeah he synergizes really well in astra and I guess you could make them work in in light weeks with any. I mean, a lot of people have Noe or Fey or whatever. Yeah. So. Yeah. But even so, right? Like, if you if you need the like, if you need the extra boosts and the extra buffs and stuff, and it, and you still have him as like an Astra unit, and he's not in win season, it's he, he's still usable. Like, he's still like the greatest, like the one of the best supports unit. And you just have to kind of finagle with what your what your team's going to be like. You do, are you going to have one Astra and then like one Eliwood? I mean. I mean, 140 is still really good. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, so I think he's great. Uh, and if you wanted to use, I guess you could. I don't think you'd want to use him for Deathblow 4, but maybe you do. I don't know. <laughs> it's not the easiest skill to come around. More from having a speed boost because his attack is already really high. Yeah, I think he's. I think he's just a great unit for the game. I honestly like think he's a great unit for the game. Like I if think you... it was good. Yeah, I think also something nifty that maybe I'll regret saying this right now, but if <laughs> if we looked at his um, legendary hero battle and you saw how basically every single enemy on that battle had the same attack, imagine if you replicate that but on your <laughs> Aether Raids defense team. Yeah, I don't know, but that's hilarious. But yeah, that's a that's like you have to like br big brain that to do that on defense. But yeah, I guess you're right. If you did have that, then that would be hilarious. Yeah. Um, yeah, his infern like his his legendary hero battle is a pain. It's evil, man. That's a hard one. I can't yeah. I can I can't even scratch infernal right now. <laughs> yeah, trying to kill Eliwood early, but yeah, still I think he's a, I think he's a great unit for the game. I think he's great for the competitive modes. Um, so I'm definitely gonna try to get at least one copy of him. And yeah, overall, try to... very solid support unit, which is something we lack. Like, right now, I think our top support units are Caden, Melkorin, and that's kind of it. If you want to include dancers and supports, then yeah, you have Legendary Azura or the Beast Flyer dancers in Race and Early End, because they have three range and they dance. But other than that, we're really kind of lacking generally good support units, and so I think this adds, you know, a very good uh, variety into the mix instead of just, like, offensively oppressive units or defensively oppressive units like no this is a good support unit which is nice to see so i think i think red is like outside of uh Ryoma, i think red's a really good color here because 
Hrid has, Hon what, Hone Attack 4, and Gation is Chill Defense? No. Yeah, I think so. I, it's it's one of the chills. I can't remember off the yeah. top of my head what it is exactly, but yeah. Yeah, I think red's a good color here. Um, if you're looking for Eliwood and you don't get Eliwood and you get Hrid instead, that's still, like, amazing fodder, and he's a great unit. Um, and Ryoma isn't really doing a lot for you, but, I mean, maybe you like Ryoma. <laughs> I like Blue a lot too, Ephraim is a really really good Gale Force unit, and Lucina is sick, and I would like more copies of Lucina. Um, I don't know much about Splashy Bucket or Grand Scratcher, I'd have to like look at the stats. I'm actually going to do that, I'm going to see what so that is. So I, I do know the effects off the top oh. of my head, but what's interesting about Hinoka is that she's also got air orders. Hmm. Which y you know very well what Ground Orders does. Air it's order. so good! I love it! <laughs> ground Orders is the funnest skill ever cr ever made in this game. Holy cow, the shenanigans you can do with Ground Orders. Yeah, so Hinoka's got the Air Orders, which is good on its own. Splashy Bucket is an inheritable 14 might dragon effectiveness <laughs> weapon. Uh, it's a dagger, and it's refinable. And so just the fact that it has dragon effectiveness, it's a dagger, it's pretty pretty solid. And refinable. Mm -hmm. Grand Scratcher gives, I think it's cooldown minus one to all to the ally with the highest attack. So special cooldown minus one to the ally with the highest attack. Oh, okay, that's um, good. Also can be very nifty. Like imagine combining Grand Scratcher with Blazing Durendel. And making all your allies have the same attack. Oh boy. <laughs> that'd be hilarious. Yeah. Man, that'd be so jokes. I don't even know how you could pull that off. You'd have to have a lot of big big fat units on the same team. Yep. Well, yeah, one Ellie Wood, maybe one Grand Scratcher, and like an Infantry Pulse team for the rest of it. Like, that would be pretty nuts. <laughs> yeah. Give the Sakura ground orders as well. It's like GG. <laughs> That's such an insanely creative team. Um, Grima's Grima. Selkie. I haven't, I haven't looked up Selkie. I haven't looked up Yune. I, I know about Yune, but... And there's also Veronica, so if you're looking for that one copy of Veronica for your F2Ps, or your F2P guys from PM1, there's your lady. But I, I honestly am not going to try to shoot for soccer. I'm, I'm only going to try to shoot for reds here. I think it's the, the color that I want the most. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate that Elliewood is a decent support unit, because, and while the, the rest of the banner is pretty decent, I do want to bring up the fact that the next banner is absolutely ridiculous. The yeah, one. yeah. Like, we've got Alm and Air on colorless, and then that's uh, going to be probably a red mythical by what it looks like, along with Legendary Marth, who is also pretty good and has bonus doubler in his weapon. And yeah, yeah, it's just the next one is an overall better banner in my opinion in general. So if you're not you know super in love with Elliewood or anyone else on this banner, I would say skip and wait for the next one. Yeah, because I personally am. Like would benefit a lot from Null C Disrupt, and uh, what was the other unit that we talked about? It was all, all and Azura, yeah, Legendary Azura. I still don't have oh, one. Legendary Azura is there as well, yeah. Yeah, so Legendary Azura and Alm, and I, and people are thinking Kanegus might come in. Uh, I don't know why they they said Kanegus for this one too, and they're saying maybe Kanegus for the next one. Honestly, if Kanegus is on the next one, then the colorless value there is in. Incredible. Yeah, I might even pull on that. Yeah, it's a sick, it's a sick banner. So I'm personally conflicted because I'm still hungry for my Hellbendies. I like Ellie Wood. I think he'd be great. I he think I think be really fun. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna prioritize most, but I hopefully get one copy of Ellie Wood bounce, then try to save orbs for uh, July. But <laughs> also potentially three houses banners end of July as well. Yeah, summer is going to be hardcore. Big oh, yeah. hardcore. So, is this a pass for you or what? Yeah, I think for me this is definitely a pass. I don't. There's nothing on here that I want or need. I don't necessarily think that I need anyone here, but I've always wanted to have a hone attack four. And uh, Elliewood again is sounds like a really fun unit to use. Anyways, um, that'll be it for us. Once again, Link King, thanks for joining. And yeah, um, and just in case you guys weren't aware, um, next week for Aether Raids, you're losing one day for maintenance. Okay? So don't get caught with your pants down. Anyways, guys, 
Thanks for watching, and have a good one. Deuces.